Because uh, the penalties are too severe, but in the United States, we have in the Constitution guaranteed yeah. that, that's quite that good. you can own a gun. That, that so, part is good, but I suppose everything comes with pros and cons, yeah. right? So it's like, it's good you can have a gun for your own protection and if you've got land or something, if someone but intrudes. Restrictions. Definitely, but to get in Walmart, restrictions to, to, yeah, to buy in Walmart, that's like I crazy. Buy an AR-15, an 18-year-old in a lot of states, 18-year-olds yeah, yeah. can buy an AR-15. Yeah. Automatic weapon, yeah. which is what they use in the Vietnam War as a military weapon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what they use in most of these mass murders you really read about when they're breaking into the schools and the churches and just mowing people down. What's the solution? What's the solution? I don't know. It's a hard really question, yeah. I don't know because. 85% of the people in the United States, this is probably not known by people in foreign countries who look at our country and think we're nuts. 85% of the people in the country, including the gun owners, want more restrictions on yeah. guns. Yeah. More. Yeah. The politicians won't do it. Mm -hmm. They're being paid by the gun lobby, by the gun manufacturers, by the National Rifle Association. They're being paid off by these lobbies. Yeah. Okay? Isn't this one of the That's ills of America? Like you say it's democratic, not you, but they say it's democratic. But there's so much lobbying going on, it, uh, you know, and, and it just destroys the whole concept of it being democratic. Yeah. Is that, you know, um, yeah. the yeah. war? Yeah, they're supposed to be, our representatives are supposed to be reflecting the will of the people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do, mm. but a lot of times is it got things like the money. Yeah, it's like every um, who is who is it? Um, not Goldman Sachs, uh, the big guys. Who is it? There was caught on camera the other day. Anyway, saying that every politician for them, they can be bought for around ten thousand dollars. They admitted that. I can't remember the company. BlackRock, that's it. Yeah. Well, uh, um, I, don't, I don't think it was a senior executive or anything, yeah. but generally he knew the inner workings of BlackRock, and he said that every politician can be bought for roughly around 10,000. Obviously higher up, more money, but generally a politician being yeah. able to be bought for 10,000. 10,000 to BlackRock is nothing, Yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's like, it, it ruins the whole concept of this uh, like democracy. The, the primary motivation of a politician in office, as best I can see, at least on the federal level in the United States, is to be re-elected, to yeah. stay in power, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah. And these organizations give them money and they can use the money to campaign to get re-elected, okay? And that's why... I heard they... So it's not representative of people. It's not representative. You have special interest groups who are usurping the will of the people for many issues in the United States. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's not very democratic yeah. in that respect. Yeah. Um, you know Noam Chomsky? Pardon? You know Noam Chomsky? Well, yeah, Boston University, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen to a little bit. Are you academic by any chance? Are you academic? Because you mentioned a few uh, Boston University. Yeah, yeah. Like no, no, I'm a retired businessman. A businessman, yeah, okay, great. So, so how, how is, um, how is uh, your, your, your president now, how is he for like, Biden? How is he for businesses, for businessmen? I think he's been okay. Yeah. Is he better than uh, like Trump or? Well, for business, um, uh, for business, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between the two. Uh -huh. No, yeah. but I would, uh, I, I will vote for Joe Biden, not Trump. Mm -hmm. Trump is. Trump wants to be an autocrat. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a king. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a dictator. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. wants to be like Putin. Mm -hmm. you know, he admires Putin. Is, it, is there such thing as he a... He said he was a genius for invading Ukraine because it's yeah. great to acquire all that real estate so yeah. cheaply. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said when he first yeah, yeah. went in there. About but the, is, is that one of the plans, though? You know when the war, they say the war machine and everything, uh, yeah. the complex, war comp industrial, industrial complex. Yeah. Uh, like these are sometimes the, the reasons behind war, right? Like the grab uh, of land? It, could be. it doesn't help. It uh, doesn't help, I don't think. Uh -huh. But I think, you know, we need to, I think, the United States, I'm in favor of supporting Ukraine, giving them money, giving them military aid. They were invaded by Putin, unprovoked, uh -huh. attacking the country, trying to take over. So I think it's important for the United States to support that. Uh -huh. And I think Biden's done a good job with that. Uh -huh. And I don't mind some of my tax money going to support Ukraine. Uh -huh. I don't want Donald Trump back uh -huh. in there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want him back in there. So you're a retired businessman, so someone else runs the business for you now? 
No, no, I, I, no my business oh, okay. I, is closed. It's closed down? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Small okay. business, yeah. Yeah, okay, so what is it, if you don't mind me asking, but I take, take it you're like a Christian? Uh, no, um, oh, I identify as... ex-Christian. You're ex-Christian, yeah, yeah. Christian. What made you lose uh, faith? Uh, I came to a point where I... I started with doubts about certain things, questions about certain things, and it just kept steamrolling over the years. When I got to a point about 15 to 20 years ago when I said, you know, I just simply don't believe it's true. Mm -hmm. that the, that the 15 years ago? 15 to 20 years ago. It took that much, because I was brought up like evangelical Christian. Yeah, okay, you well, that, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Evangelicals. Yeah. yeah, I was brought up like that. Did so, you follow a lot of this scholarly work? Pardon? Did you follow a lot of this scholarly work? Like if I asked you, for example, do you know any evangelical scholars? Oh yeah, oh sure. Can you name uh, me a few? Just Josh like, McDonald. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was here at the debate. Yeah, yeah I remember uh, with uh, Ahmed Jida. Uh, uh, what's his name? Strobel. The case. The Lee Strobel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrote. Yeah, yeah. Uh, William Lane Craig. Yeah, William Lane Craig. He's a yeah, philosopher. Yeah, I know, yeah, as well. I know some. I've listened to him, mm -hmm. but. They, the, the basic doctrines of Christianity, I just don't think are true. Okay, I mean they're intelligent apologists for the case, yeah. but I think the people who make the base case at the other on the other side, mm. you know, guys like Sam Harris, mm. okay, yeah, the people, Four Horsemen, you know, yeah, Sam Harris, yeah, yeah he's Dan, one of them. Daniel Dennett was Hitchens, one of them, Hitchens, you know, Christopher Hitchens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dawkins. Yeah. And there's a whole host of them. I yeah. like to listen to Michael Shermer. Marcus I like to skeptic. listen to the people, Mike Shermer, Matt Dillahunty. Yeah. Yeah. who are former born-again fundamentalist Christians mm -hmm. who changed their mind. Mm -hmm. um, the big one who affected me was uh, Dan Barker. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know so I know Barker? Dan Barker, yeah, yeah. He debunked are, are a lot of... No, yeah, I'm Muslim. Okay. I'm Muslim, so... So it's, a, it's interesting to me that you're familiar with so many of these names. Yeah, because we do apologetics. Okay. Yeah? So, so I watch a lot of this Barker stuff. Mm. was a fundamentalist Christian. Yeah, yeah. you might know from his yeah, book, yeah, Losing yeah, yeah, Faith yeah. Yeah. He was a preacher for yeah. 17 years. Yeah. And was in his 30s. Yeah. He had doubts that steamrolled, and yeah. eventually he said, you know, yeah. I don't believe it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it took a lot of courage because yeah. he lost... He lost everything. Everything, yeah. He lost everything he had ever known. He lost his wife, he lost his family, he's lost his way of way of his business was basically he was a preacher. Mm -hmm. He had all he had to start all over again. Mm -hmm. Simply because he was honest about mm -hmm. what he believed and didn't believe. Mm -hmm. I just I don't believe it's true. I feel the same way. I don't think You Jesus, do feel like you've been I, robbed uh, robbed of many years. You know, I don't feel that way. You don't feel I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't carry around resentment yeah, yeah, exactly. toward my parents yeah. and stuff. My parents grew up the same way, so yeah. they can turn around and blame my grandparents, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So, no, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. But so, I, I just don't think, did Jesus raise from the dead? I don't think so. Uh -huh, no. Uh -huh. no. Do you no. believe in a God, a creator? At this point. I believe there is a creator, yeah. but, it, but it's not necessarily a personal like being. Like a deist kind reason, of thing. The reason I believe that there's a creator, it seems to me that if you go back, cause and effect, okay, mm. that there's one of two possibilities, mm. okay? Mm. There is either, if you go back, what caused this, what caused this, what caused this? At the end of that train, there's either an infinite regress, mm. you know what that is? Infinite regress, well what caused, because people say, okay, I believe in God because um, God created everything, he caused things to be, he was the unmoved mover, the uncaused cause. Okay, and then the challenge to that is, oh, but what caused God? Mm. Okay, there had to be a cause for God if everything had a cause. Well, it seems to me to be only two possibilities. One, infinite regress. Infinite regress is a mathematical concept, but I don't think there's such a thing as infinite in reality. In the universe, there's nothing that's infinite. Okay, so you're okay. left with all the choice? Right. So you have infinite regress versus there had to be an uncaused first cause. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are other possibilities, but I don't know what they could be. Mm. Uncaused first cause or infinite regress. 
uncaused first cause makes the most sense to me. Mm -hmm. okay, so an uncaused first cause mm -hmm. is God. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't believe God answers my prayers. I don't think he listens to me. I don't think he's a person. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. he's a creator. It's so a, you it's think... the ground of all existence. The ground mm -hmm. of being. The ground of all existence. Is so, so would you say... Um, you say all of this is just like a byproduct of creation. Like an accidental what? creation. Accident? Yeah, because we have to look at all of the beauty around you, the yeah, green it's, trees. It's, 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 uh, I usually argue, because I'm familiar with these arguments, but I try to keep it on a very simple level. Do you think such artistry and it's, uh, comes from accident? You know the placing of your eyebrows above your eyes and the nose where it is, it, and, and the whole structure of you being able to keep upright with the spinal cord and so on. Do you think all of these are products of accidents? Like, does that seem... The short say, uh, was there an agency behind this? Yes. Was there intentional yeah, creation? Yeah, intention was intention. Um, I don't know. I no, don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't think but so. Using I, do, I, do believe in, I do believe evolution makes a lot more sense yeah. to me from the point of... But hold on to evolution, because evolution shows you how A become B. Right, I just want to know how A got there first. Yeah. 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 So I, I want to establish A's relationship with God. Is it separate or is it that we have a God that created the universe not by accident or byproduct but purposefully with intention? I don't know. Yeah. I, but don't, wouldn't, I don't think so. Would it be fair to say that everything has purpose like this table, this bottle, everything that we know of, your hair, your glasses, your hat, can we not use this as an extension of our logic to show that everything we know of has purpose? It would be very difficult to suggest that we have no purpose. Everything has purpose. Yeah. yeah are you, is purpose and meaning? Is purpose in, in, in meaning, yeah. In meaning, in the meaning. same thing as purpose? It, 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 it encapsulates it. Here's what I it, think yeah. about meaning. Mm. I think there is meaning, mm. but there is not meaning to discover out there. I mean utility as well. I create my own meaning. I create what's meaningful to me. What about utility? What? As in, when I say purpose, not just meaning, I mean utility. For example, not just abstract things. Yeah. Of like ideas, is a, yeah. So, is there anything, anything that doesn't have a purpose? Like the mountains have purpose, the seas have purpose, the rivers have purpose. Everything works in a everything very perfect, all yeah, in it's ecology, all connected. All connected. It's all connected. So everything has a everything purpose. So, what's your purpose? Anyway, this is the Quran. I think we've had a long conversation. I just want to bring it to a close. This is the Quran. A lot of people who leave Christianity assume Islam is the same as Christianity. It's not. You have the Bible, which is a collection of books. It comes from the Greek word Biblos, made out of the letters, earliest letters of Paul, which you know, which is written after Jesus. Paul never met Jesus. He wasn't an eyewitness. He, he himself went out there and he preached. He preached something slightly different to what Jesus preached. Yeah, a lot different. Yeah, so well, well, the best we could do is multiple attestation to get something close to what Jesus had said. For example, the Jesus Seminary by John Dominic Crossan, which you may know, they come to the conclusion very few words are actually uttered by Jesus. But well, there are some instances the Bible may show, show, may show us glimpses of truth. So the, uh, so the Bible uh, in it has a lot of doubt. We don't know who Paul was, like as in, we, he, we know he didn't get the theology from Jesus, but he said, I learned this from no man. He fell into dispute with the companions at Antioch, the dispute at Antioch. And then they had the council of Jerusalem where Paul, he met James, who was just above of, uh, Jesus. All of this is, uh, I, I know you remember all of this. But in Islam, uh, so Paul wrote half of the 27 books in the New Testament. That's 13. The others are like written by Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. You we don't know who they are. And we don't know who they are. And they're not independent attestation. We know this because it's synoptic problem they have word for word yeah. similarity so we're left with a lot of doubt the authorship already, of people I've already yeah. done a lot of deconstruction of the Bible and yeah. the Bible is not the word of God yeah so this God is, is written is that, by humans uh -huh. so this is where the Quran comes in we have a lot of doubt here but the Quran says 
that is a book, meaning the Quran, wherein there is no doubt. And then the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was an unlettered person. Because we believe in God, but we believe God communicates with his uh, uh, creation. And there's purpose inside the creation. So God sends down, لَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلُّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولَ We say that God sends down to every community a messenger, telling people to worship only one God. No humans, no sticks, no spirits, no nothing. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a seal of the prophethood. Meaning when Jesus said, Oh ye, oh ye, um, hear ye, oh Israel, well, he quotes uh, the first commandment, Hear ye, O Israel, your Lord the God is one. The Quran doesn't address Israel, it addresses the whole of mankind. O oh, mankind, Ilahukum Wahid, your God is just one God, it is not more than one. So the Quran and the was the last book, it was given after the Bible, which is in doubt. We say this is. Okay, but we have, a, I think we have sort of a fundamental point that we probably disagree on. Huh. And that is like, does the universe have purpose, okay? It has function, hmm. but I don't think it has purpose hmm. in that there is, a, like purpose implies agency. Yes, it implies yes. a person yes. or a being agency, that yes. is something like us. It has personality, okay? If I had to bet, I would bet that the universe does not have that. Mm -hmm. It does not have that. It has function, but it does not have an overriding purpose where it's going somewhere. I should have asked your name in the beginning. My name is Hamza. I'm David. David, nice name. I like that. Nice Old Testament name. <laughs> <laughs> strong name, strong name. So then, um, yeah. it, the problem with having just a deistic or a separate type of God is now, we have no attributes to it. Right. Yeah? But the thing is, then we are left with the question, where does knowledge come from? Can knowledge come from nothing? Can the genetic coding in your system come from nothing? Does a dog have knowledge? A dog has knowledge, yes. But where does the knowledge come from? Accident? I'll ask no. you, where does the no, knowledge we, come we from? We believe an agent would have to be knowledgeable to create knowledge. Whether it's a dog or ant, right. a communication, right. because what these is, systems... What is the evidence that you need something supernatural for a, a, um, an animal or a human being to have it's a, Yeah, sure. It's the imputation of information. It's like a computer can't have software without a software designer. And this is what we see. When we look at the DNA or cell biology, we look at the mitochondria, the RNA, the DNA, the cell synthesis, mitochondria, all of these processes in the cell alone and we look at the DNA we look at the adenine the guanine tyrus the uracil we, we find it very difficult to think that all of this information because that's what it is information it appears by accident and even if you were to argue it comes from accident you would need a long 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 amount of time which mathematically here's, would be improbable here's the difference between a scientific approach and a religious approach mm. in the scientific approach when you get to something like that mm. we see say, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You use an argument that we call the God of the gaps. When you don't know an answer to a question like that, it must be God. No. But there are plenty of things over history that have been filled mm -hmm. that people attributed to God, mm -hmm. the God of the gaps, that we now have scientific explanations for. Mm -hmm. We have a good scientific no, we have explanation, explanation for how life developed from single cells to human beings. No, but we have a good... Hundreds of years ago, they had no explanation. It was God. No, no, they okay. had no scientific yeah. explanation. Don't get that confused. Yeah. They had no scientific, not the way that we have it now. But they had observational. Wait, they had. Uh, what was this? Second day. What was David? Let's, let's not get okay. caught in the spirit because I'm not trying to debate yeah. and everything. But we had many other sciences. Like uh, they had logic, they had philosophy, yes. they had mathematics, and these are undeniable. Right. Uh, but uh, scientism is the dogmatic belief that science can explain everything or reduces everything no. to that which is observable. This is scientism. This is definition of scientism. It is. Science cannot explain everything. Well, I'll give you an example. Well, science cannot explain Yeah, exactly. One science second. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah exactly, it. exactly. It cannot, one of the... Exactly. But it has, it is a religion. It is. But this is the problem. No, it's not that you can't, religion. hear me, hear me, David. But you can't, you can't expect, you can't expect an answer from science when science is telling you it can't give you an answer. When you science understand? is what? It is telling you it cannot give you the answer. Do you understand? I can't go fishing with a dog leash and say, oh, there must be no fish here. 
Do you understand? This is the problem you're doing. You know that science deals with the naturalistic world, not the na unnaturalist or the supernaturalistic world, anything beyond nature or beyond the universe. But you're demanding that we have scientific proof for a God. But even when we... No, no, no. no, 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 no. we have scientific proof for a God. When I say I don't know, it means that I'm ignorant. Yeah. So if you are ignorant, it's mine. Hmm. This is my water. Uh, no, I, I didn't drink it. I didn't drink it. I need it though. I say, no, no, I need it though. Now I got my people. If I stuck up somewhere, then I cannot understand. So I need to ask the person who knows about that. So, for example, he, you say I don't know. It means that I'm finished. I, I don't know anything. I'm ignorant. So well, I know some things. It doesn't mean I don't know anything. Don't say I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the problems in science anyway science is riddled with problems and it doesn't always have the answers it can never have like metaphysical truths ethical judgments aesthetical judgments ugly da, da, da. logic and maths which is the basic of science it cannot explain that science cannot even explain some things which is scientific you know science like as in we assume or make uh, assumptions like the speed of light we make assumption that is constant but we don't know it's constant. It's not constant. You run it through water, it's a different speed than it, 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 it is, 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 Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, but generally when we make uh, equations, we assume uh, the constant, uh, the, the it's back. constant, yeah. Yeah, speed of light. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there are many things that we don't claim to know. Yeah, we don't claim to know. Like you don't know if you will, God forbid, like sink into this ground. We don't know. But you make a judgment call, right? There's a probability. There's a probability. Across the street, I could be killed by a bus. But there's a. But you live. Uh, you live as if that you can't take that next step. And this is the same thing for the believers. We live as if there is a creator. The creation yeah. lives as if there is a creator. I, I, it gives us yeah. meaning. It saves us from materialism, nihilism, falling into these dark, I dark I live, holes. I lived for many years as if there was a creator, as if there was a personal God, as if I could talk to Jesus, as if he could answer prayer. Mm. It didn't work for me ultimately. Like, yeah, yeah. I found better answers. But this is elsewhere. this is my art. I have this book. Yeah, yeah. Not only do I have this book, I have a 500-page book written by a Muslim imam. Is it uh, imam? Critical of Christianity and why the Christians are wrong and why Muslim is right. I haven't read the whole book, but I've scanned it. Yeah. So I'll take this. But yeah. I already have one. But yeah, okay, do that. This. I had this nice conversation. <laughs> okay, I'll with do you. that. I do. You want David, to take your time, man. Well, it's not giving hard. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Other free. Other Majan and Bilash. Look. You sign this. You sign this. No one. To David. David from. To David. <laughs> from. From Sharat. From London. <laughs> and from all of London, yeah? <laughs> now, I write my name, yeah? From Hamza. Very good. Take a chance, David. Take a chance. You never know. Because you know why I found that a lot of atheists that leave Christianity assume all other religions are the same as Christianity. Yeah. It may be that you find an answer here. Who knows? <laughs> My man David, yeah? You as well, take care of yourself, yeah? How you doing, sir? Can I introduce you to some free literature? What's your platform about? Uh, it's where we're giving away free Qur'an. Well, I've got one at home, I think, for what it's worth. Yeah? Have you taken time uh, to no, I read it? I, I think it is contrary to my interests and contrary to my beliefs. Uh -huh. And it's, it's very much so. Very, very much so. So what is uh, your belief? What's the standard you're using to judge well, others? My standard I'm using to judge that is I, as a proud homosexual, okay. I am proud of it and God created me this way so it nullifies all that rubbish in there is meaningless to me. Oh. Absolutely. That's where, where my... Is there a reason why you're edging forward? That, yes, I want why? to get my message home. Though, no, so I can hear, but there's, no, there's yeah. no need for you to well, come 
me my personal for space. You to be frightened either. I'm no, not, but I'm it's, not it's not normal. It's you. not. I don't know. You my attitude uh, spit on me. You're in shock yeah. now. No, no. But if anyone speaks, the, the spit comes out of their mouth, so it's normal. But normally, generally, people don't go like that That's in other right. people's face. Yeah, it's just weird and well, abnormal. It's not a friendly anyway. conversation. No, you turned it that way. Because I started very nicely. Okay, okay. Thank you. Very nice. No, no. But you started with your position. Yeah, you, I asked you. You're very still hanging. Strange. You're still hanging. You're gay very odd. You're very you're odd, strange person. You're very odd and are strange you person. People? Who, who? Do you know who I am? Why? Do you know how? Do you know who I am? Your culture, they hanged people like yourself. We don't. For, for hundreds of years. We don't. But you in that colonial mentality think everyone else does the same thing, isn't it? Well, What's your name? Don't. How about we get a name from you? You want to you wanna be uh, intimidated, put in your face? I'm not intimidated. It scares me very little. You make very little sense. You poking out your hips at me and your pelvic. Well, it doesn't make any sense to me. Do you understand? You. Yeah, because you came in with a very peculiar rubbish. approach. Rubbish. And that's all you could do here is say rubbish rubbish yeah. yeah it's nature that you fight not me nature tells you you cannot procreate that's what you need to have argument is nature uh, I, I'm not the one me, uh, you have a problem with nature even as an atheist me, no you me, listen, to listen to me you me, even no. as an atheist yeah listen. you're angry at nature but nature listen. does not allow you to listen. procreate well, with case, another man that and that's why you're angry at me in but that, I've got nothing to do with you that case, you see in that case tell me why 10% that's what one in ten, ten in a hundred people in the city of London, the greatest city in the world, ten percent, as per the census, are What census? Show me. Show me the census. Don't be ridiculous. Show me the show. No, I'm being serious. Show me. I don't know the... Show me the census. Don't just poke up your hips at me, you odd, awkward man. You pout in your lips and poke in your chest. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. I don't live here. I, yes. Oh, very ignorant, very ignorant. Very ignorant. Would you like to s justify your claim? Show us, show us the so called census. Show us this census. Show us this census. Show this census. This lie. 100% lie. I know, I know now you're lying. I know you're lying. How many millions of gay people in China? There's no point. China, with 1.4 million people in China, how many millions of gay people in that country do you think? How many millions? You've taken a very strange How approach, a very strange approach. Go on like this. Population of 1.4 million. Sorry, billion. Are you ready to have a decent conversation? I didn't think so. I didn't think. No, you're doing this weird stuff like this and and speaking to people like this and thrusting your hips at me. It doesn't make any sense to me. This consensus is lie. You didn't. You didn't. Hey. <laughs> You're against nature. How can I watch you from USA? Oh, mashallah. The last five years. Oh, mashallah. Continuously. Me and my wife is here. Oh, we get to the here. Oh. So when I come back from uh, my job, I just start and because when I'm busy with you people, I don't go for the, you yeah, understand, yeah. drama, oh, okay. and everything, nonsense. So I know that you're a very good community. Mm. Very soft. But you people have a meeting. Allah. Allah. All the brothers. Allah. 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 Allah.